repeat yourself? So you probably know by now, but I have an obsession with this fellow who happens to post videos to YouTube. What you might not know is that when Crofters the Musical came out, I immediately ordered a jar of Crofters. If you follow my Twitter feed, then you know that when it was delivered to my doorstep, it was also stolen by some teenagers in the area. So I had to order it again. But this time when I ordered, I was diligent about checking that tracking number every day and knowing exactly where my package was. When it got to the post office, I tried to set delivery instructions, but they wouldn't allow me to set delivery options. So I determined that I was just gonna have to hope for the best. Then I woke up this morning and looked at the tracking number and it said the package was out to be delivered and should be delivered by 8 p.m. And I was super excited because I don't have to go to work today. I can come home whenever I need to to get this package. So I continued to check the tracking number throughout the day. By 4.30, it still had not been delivered. So if you know anything about my family or if you recognize the shirt or if you follow my Twitter feed, then you know that my sister was diagnosed with leukemia at the end of December. So that's been a really big struggle for our family this year. But some people who live in the neighborhood with my parents recognized that struggle and decided to throw a block party to raise awareness for the struggle that they're going through. So obviously my presence was requested and you better believe I wasn't going to miss that. So at 4.30, I left, headed towards my parents' house, and even though the package hadn't been delivered, I just said a quick prayer, and by the time I got there, I kind of forgot about it. So when my brother asked me if I wanted to go skating with him and his best friend and his girlfriend, I happily obliged. Because another thing you might not know about me is that I love skating. I didn't start until I was an adult, so I'm not very good at it, but I enjoy it. One thing I did not know about myself is that as I get older, my joints don't enjoy it as much. But that's a story for another day. After we went skating, we went out for ice cream and my brother's girlfriend asked me when my jam was supposed to be delivered, which is when I remembered that it was supposed to be delivered today. So I checked the tracking number and according to the tracking number, it had been delivered at 445 which was super frustrating because that was a full 15 minutes after I had needed to leave the house. But there was nothing to be done at that moment, so I just took my brother's girlfriend and best friend home. I took my brother home and chatted with my parents for a bit, and then I headed to my house. But on the way home, I said several quick prayers, hoping that the package was still going to be there when I got there. I was preparing myself for the idea that it wouldn't be, but I was hoping that I would come home and find it on my doorstep. And what should be on my doorstep when I get home but this nice package. So I'm super excited that this package has finally made it into my house. And I'm getting ready to record my reaction to Logan's Berry Jam. So here we go. I'm ready to try just a little bit of Logan's Berry on the spoon. And then I will try the Logan's Berry Toast. Here goes nothing. Oh my gosh, it's actually really good. So like I said, I'm not usually a jam person. That's really good. Wow. Oh my gosh. That's insane. Oh my gosh. I'm not even exaggerating. That's really good. Okay. Time for the bread. So it has just the right amount of sweetness to it, but then also I was expecting a different texture and it was, it was not a good texture that I was expecting. But instead I'm getting a texture that is actually very pleasant. So this is pleasantly surprising actually. I'm, I'm really excited about this. I think for a time I was worried because I've been waiting for this for so long that I was worried it wouldn't live up to what I was hoping for, but no, it really does. I really enjoy this. So I can't lie, now I really want to see Roman get his own flavor. And I wouldn't mind seeing Virgil and Patton, and maybe even Deceit, getting their own flavors as well. There's been some theories going around about what their flavors would be. I'm going to be honest, I don't know enough about fruit spreads to be able to theorize about that. But, I don't know. 
Blackberry and pomegranate goes very well for Logan. I would imagine that Romans would be something red um, rather than the purple that we're getting here. So maybe cherry or strawberry? Probably strawberry. I would imagine that patents would be super, super sweet. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it would be, but it would be very, very sweet. <laughs> and then maybe Virgil's would be grape something. I don't know. It's got the purple. But this is really good. So I know I'm not the first person that said this, and I know for a fact I'm not the only person that thinks this, but I think it's only a matter of time before Roman gets his own flavor. And I think the Fanders are probably going to make sure of that. So Roman, no need to worry. I think it'll happen for you. But until then, this is amazing. And until next time, bye future self. See you soon. So if you're watching this video, you've probably already seen Crofters the Musical, but if you haven't, make sure you go by Thomas's channel and check it out. It's a pretty great song. Thomas does a great job not only promoting the jelly, but also providing a little bit of character buildup within that promotional video. So it's not just a promotional video. It is mostly a promotional video, but it's not just that, and it's actually very fun to watch so definitely go and check it out and then while you're there check out all of his other things because in all honesty his content is gold so you should check it out and I'm not just saying that because I'm obsessed but check it out while you're here if you like what you're seeing just like comment subscribe and I'll see you next time bye future self